camera's on a little bit of a tilt, but it's okay. It's just the intro, baby. Hey, my name is May, like the month, and today I'm gonna show you my plants. Just as a quick disclaimer, I am not the greatest plant mom in the world. 90 to 95% of these plants I don't know the name of. I just got them because I thought they were really cute, and I'm not the greatest at specifics either. For example, like I don't know exactly how much light slash shade a plant should get or how much water they should receive. My strat for this whole thing is that I buy it because I think it's cute and then I suss it out once I get home. Like I move it around a bunch of like different places in my apartment and just give it water and hopefully it sticks. Yeah. <laughs> this plant tour is going to be very basic. It's just going to be me holding the camera and just pointing to it. Be like, that's a plant, that's a plant, that's a plant. But hopefully it gives you a little bit more insight on my life and the plants I have and the plants I love. <laughs> Holding the camera like this makes me feel like I'm a vlogger. It's like, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. But nope, not doing that. I'm just showing you my plants. Okay. So this is one of my favorite corners of my apartment. It is in my bedroom, as you can tell. It's just this tiny little corner that I stack up a bunch of plants. The shelf, I get a lot of questions about. This is actually an over-the-toilet shelf that I got from Amazon. I thought it was skinny enough and it was small enough where I can put a bunch of plants on it. And I can also put a little side table. The pots are definitely a mix and match. The convenience store near me has a bunch of them that I really enjoy. I think I got this one from a convenience store, this one from a convenience store as well. This one is from Drake General, and I'm pretty sure this one is from Vita V, I think, on Ossington and Queen. So this guy right here absolutely hates me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Every like pot size that I try or like the light that it's getting, it just despises me, but it's okay. We're growing, we're learning from each other. This guy I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. I think it was so teeny at first, but now it's really thriving. And I like these little pink edges. These two guys, basically everything on my shelf I water at once. I probably do it once a week. This is, I'm pretty sure it's called Pilia. Pilia? I just like to call it the My Neighbor Totoro plant. Because remember the scene where he's like holding that leaf? Yeah, it just reminds me of that. It originally came from one stalk, which is right here. I chopped off the stalk because it was getting all lopsided and it was just crowding up the pot and I rooted it. So it's been maybe a week, a little bit over a week since I put it in water. I just chopped it all off, chopped off a couple of the dying leaves, threw it in some water, and there we are. This is a shiesty snake plant, to be honest. I tried to kill it a bunch of times, but you know what? We love a trooper, so it's gonna stick around with me. And then I just have a pothos that I created from a cutting. Over here, I have my big snake plant. Snake plants are the best in terms of house plants because you can't really kill them. I think I've had this guy for six years now, maybe five, six years. And it was originally, I think around this height, but it has slowly grown to this beast. I water it very sparingly. Like whenever I think about the snake plant, I'm like, mm, okay, well, I thought about it. So I will water it a week later. It is definitely a trooper. This little stand thing is from Crown Flora here in downtown Toronto. So I have this shelf above my bed. It looks something like that, just a generic shelf. I think I got this from Ikea. These pots are all from like a convenience store again. This guy, I'm pretty sure, yeah, air plant is what comes to my head, but I'm pretty sure that's not right either. I just like its little leaves. These leaves just remind me of like someone reaching out for a high five, which makes me really happy. I have this monstera plant. I actually got this from a cutting from Danny. She has this beautiful monstera plant and in exchange for me helping her move, she gave me a cutting. I rooted it in water. This one took a long time to root. I would have to say maybe two weeks, but it rooted and this little leaf came out. Look at it. Stunning. Wow, you go girl, you do the goddamn thing. Ooh, light bulb, hello. We don't talk about him. He is not happy with me. And I don't know why. It's okay. We'll get through this together. <laughs> so that is everything in terms of my bedroom. Ta -da. Ta -da. And now we are off to the communal living room slash kitchen slash everything space. 
If you live in Toronto, you know that rooms and things with doors are hard to come by. So I just have my bedroom and like a bathroom and then I have this huge space. My kitchen, my other stuff, you know how it is. Sometimes if I poke her, she makes a noise. I just, my whole existence is to annoy her and I think she knows that. Okay, let's see. There it is. So over here I have Latte's litter box and also a bunch of my bigger plants. I have a fig tree right here. This guy actually got from a store, it was dying, so they gave it to me for half price. And it has been kind of a struggle to figure out how like fig tree slash fiddle leaf trees act and work. Sometimes it sticks and like it's having a bunch of new leaves as you can see right here. Look at this guy, hello. And then I think there's another leaf coming out right there. And then on another time, like there's been weeks where just leaves just drop just like my mental health, but you know, it's okay. For the fig tree, I always make sure that the soil is bone dry before I water it. That's what I think it likes the most is when it's just like water and then completely dry and then water again. Up here, I have my pothos. If you follow me on my Instagram, uh, you know that all my pothos plants have come from one cutting, which is crazy. But now it's thriving and I really love the little streaks, the little shock streaks that the leaves have. Over here, I have a present from Danny. It was my birthday recently, as you guys know. And she was like, oh, I can't give you an actual Birkin. So here is this plant that's called a Birkin. Adorable. We love to see her. We love hanging things. I just think it's absolutely adorable. Hello. Okay. Over here, I have this hanging jade plant. This originally started probably looking something like this. There was like three of them and they were all like probably this tall. Now look at it. Wow, so lovely. The hanging thing I got from Umbra and what I do to water it, because I read that jade plants actually don't like water on the leaves. I take this guy out here, fill it up, right here probably halfway and let it sit for maybe a week or so. And it really loves that. So much so that I got a cutting off of it. This guy reminds me of a sleepy dragon with the way it's shaped. Here is another pothos cutting that I got. I'm pretty sure that this little stand guy is from Winners. This stand I got from V to V on Ossington as well with this big boy. So this guy has been on a journey with me as well where it doesn't like too much light and also doesn't like too much shade. But now I found this pocket works best for him. I grab the entire thing on the inside. Again, bring it to the sink and run water through him for, again, minute or so every week. Look at all the new leaves. So good. Hello. This is a philodendron cutting that I got from my big boy, which I'll show you in a second. And this holder I thrifted and then just spray painted it white. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention for these bird of paradise plants. I don't know how they stuck around with me for so long. They have been with me ever since I moved back to Toronto. So probably like six or seven years now. It despises me. It is not happy, but somehow it just has new leaves like this guy. Over here, I have my yucca cane. It's a pointy boy. It's the sweetest little thing ever. This one, I treat exactly the same like that plant right there. Take it out, put it in the sink, uh, and run water through it for maybe like a minute or so. Ta-da! It's one of my newest guys, and it just makes me so happy. You have no idea. Speaking of pothos cuttings, no one was talking about pothos cuttings, May. But, you know, I gotta transition it one way or another. Boom, all of this from one cutting. Look how pretty it is. Stunning imagery. Danny gave me a cutting and it just exploded <laughs> into this and that as well, I guess. Look at that. Pothos is one of the easiest things to maintain in my opinion. If you forget to water it, 
it's totally fine. It'll bounce back and it'll look something like that. So you know how people have like a junk drawer where they just like throw a bunch of crap in there and pretend not to see it? So that's me with all of these cabinet things where you need little white bins, it's all full of crap. But what I do is I cover it with a cute plant. So that's my philodendron. I got this guy from Home Depot. It was originally like this tall at first, but Ain't that crazy. This one I water a little more frequent. I put in the sink maybe twice a week. It really likes the lack of light here for some reason. I threw it up there like a pipe dream, like, oh, it looks cute. I'll keep it around for like a week or so just for the aesthetic. And then once it starts being sad, then I'll move it. But it really likes being there. And that's my plant tour, baby. I'm slightly out of breath. So much talking. I know this wasn't the most informative thing ever, but hopefully it gives you a little peek into my apartment and the plants that I enjoy and yeah. It's me cleaning you. See, not the greatest plant mom. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.